Hey guys, welcome to Prina Creations. My name is Oge and I'm reaching you from Abuja, Nigeria. I make videos on healthy living, great recipes and how to do all of that on a budget. In today's video, I would like to share with you the things that I have in my first aid box, uh, all the items I get and I always have handy, the routines and how we apply them and all of that. So stay tuned and then let me know what you think in the comment section. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for your love and support. I'll be seeing you at the end of the video. So whenever we make a budget for groceries and foodstuffs around the house, we also make budgets for supplements and vitamins that we might need. This particular one is immune to help boost immune system. There are different kinds and there are different qualities, so it depends on your budget. There are also different uh, supplements for diabetes, for eye care, and even for the children. You know, the list is endless. And don't forget that these supplements are not in any way supposed to replace a balanced diet and also talk to your doctors if necessary. So this is me trying to sort out my first aid box. I have two baskets, one big and one small. I buy a lot in bulk. I mean, I buy in bulk and including some extras when needed. So I, because I don't like to run out of any of these when I am. Uh, when I need them. So I am using the green basket for extras or the ones that have not been opened and then the white one for the ones that we are currently using. And this is me just removing everything and trying to, you know, repack or rearrange them, bring out what we need and then trash whatever it is we have used up and all of that. So I have a couple of vitamins or supplements. Yeah, in this case, this particular one is vitamin c i have one new one and one that we're already using which is what is in the basket now and i'm just putting everything that has not been opened on the other side so i already have my vitamin c now i have my ibuprofen i mean you can use any brand you like this video is not sponsored i have fluco for cold i have emzolin four in one for cold as well then i have this kidimine which i got this place of well kid because of the price then I have vitamin C 1000 milligram, which I use as my juice in some cases. Vitamin C as replacement for sweets for my kids. Flagyl for stomach upset. I also have loratidine for allergies. GV for minor wounds, which I use rarely. Odomos, which is mosquito cream, shouldn't be used for children less than two. Then I have this plaster, which I got in Aero. The original one I had in mind was this particular one, which is easy to use. It has like a glue to it and you just stick and you know it has like a mini wool I mean very easy to use and it's very handy. I have my thermometer for checking quick temperatures. I have here my paracetamol and then just it for emergency ulcer relief. I have flagyl for emergency running stomach. And then I have this vitamin C 1000 milligram also as a tablet, which I got instead of the other one. I sent somebody, but the person made the mistake and bought the tablet, which we'll end up drinking anyways. I also have my tetracycline, which is also supposed to be for stomach upset. Um, I haven't had to use this for years, but I just like to have it around. That's it for the baskets that we're using on a regular basis. This channel is a, an immune booster. I'll be doing a giveaway very soon. It's very, very useful and helpful. I'm just putting back all the other medications that we are not using yet, including some that we rarely use. And I'll be explaining when we get to that, guys. Count on me for the one, two. Trouble don't last when the tub gets going. Baby, all we do is win, so show me my opponent. So I have this neurovite or something, I don't remember. And this sephiroxine. The neurovite is supposed to be a multivitamin. And this sephiroxine, I got it. But we never got to use it. Nobody ever said this would be easy. But trust when I say that you got it. I know it. you've been looking for a break. I have some extra juice. I have some honey, loraxil, extras. Mentalated spirit for minor wounds, you know, and then this trino IB, I have extras of them. I have camosunate, which is malaria treatment for the children for less than five or six. I have three of them here. I mean, consult your doctor if need. And then this pile, pile is 
a warm is a dewormer for adults because we do that like every three to six months usually it's supposed to be every three months and this is for the kids i have them here because we don't use it every time guys and this is another immune booster a cheaper version of the immune booster guys so and then i have this empty container which i use just and then i have more flagyl i use the extra container just in case i have some drugs in a sachet and i don't want to carry the sachet around I also have the measuring cup which I, comes in handy. This silver bed oil is, is an eucalyptic oil that I use mostly for my children you know, when they have a flu and all of that. I just need to put a little bit in cotton board, dab on their nose. <laughs> they can find it uncomfortable sometimes but it works. You can also put in hot water and then same with this mentholatum, you can put in hot water and allow them, you know, cover with the blanket and allow them the heat to, you know, get all over their faces and their heads. And that can help with cold or flu too. I usually have a pectone in my first aid box, but I don't have it at the moment. Guys, don't forget that you need to conduct your doctors before you use any other medication. This video is for information purposes only. So guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, drop your comments below or ask your questions down below in the comment section. And then feel free to share with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and then drop your comments below. Share with your friends and loved ones. You never know who might benefit from this or who may enjoy this content. I'll be seeing you in my next one. Until then, stay safe. Bye.